Well, most of us rely on customer reviews when shopping online, right? It's 2023 now, but a consumer watchdog group says sites like Amazon and others need to crack down more on fake reviews. I'm so interested in this one because I use reviews for everything. On your site, Christine too. Lazar joins us now with tips on how to spot these potential fakes. And you think as consumer reporter, I would be a little more savvy and savvy with reviews, but I admit I go to Amazon and I often even filter to only see the products that have five stars. Me too, I do that all the time. Right, well, read those reviews and listen to this report and you'll be more savvy than I was. <laughs> now the website FakeSpot estimates that more than one third of online reviews on websites like Amazon, Walmart, and eBay are fake. Of course, there's no way to know for certain, but we have some tips on how to spot a potentially fake review. Now, first off, who is writing these questionable reviews? Well, sellers will often hire people to give them glowing reviews, even though most sites ban this practice. Or they will offer free product to try out in exchange for a review, and who's going to bash someone giving them free stuff? What can consumers do to make sure that we're not reading and relying upon fake or paid for reviews? Happy people don't leave reviews. Unhappy people leave reviews. So if there's a lot of glowing five-star reviews, so you might want to question the, the authenticity. Or they're using terms like awesome, wonderful, great product, fast delivery. That's not helpful. <laughs> Now, we're gonna give you some examples now. He says an example of that can be seen in this review where you see 99% of the reviews are five stars and the comments are vague using terms like excellent, cool, oh. quality product. Those can be red flags. Also in this review, my favorite for all things, a coffee mug, <laughs> a very simple coffee mug. It has all these five star reviews with over the top comments like love it, perfect. Oh wow. And my personal favorite, the style, design and sturdiness of the cup. <laughs> she was hooked. <laughs> now also look out for thousands of reviews on products that aren't name brand. Experts say it's unlikely an obscure brand will have six times the reviews as oh, a name brand. We should mention that the expert we interviewed with the counterfeit report is suing Amazon over alleged fraudulent products, which is a whole another issue, but we need to discuss that. Wow. Wow, that's interesting. And there are also people who have like revenge reviews, right? Where someone will give you a bad review because they're angry at you for some other reason. Yes, and that's a problem too, but by and large Large, think about it. When you go out and have a great meal, you're like, oh, that was a great meal. And you go home with a full belly and you feel great. When you go out and have a terrible restaurant experience, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I then go home and I'm like, I'm gonna get on Yelp well, and I'm gonna. I was a server, so when I have a great meal, I um, do actually go on and, yes. and put it on because I, I've been in that world and I, I've seen where it's just all angry people yeah, on one Yeah, and bad we night. all need to be better about that, right? When yeah. we have a positive experience, we need to take the time to do that. And I, I am cognizant of that and I try to do that. But by and large, the majority go on when yes. they're angry. Of and I will say the bribery things. is real, right? People yes. are always offering you incentives to give them a positive review. So and does, you don't want them to stop, right? right? So you keep writing the reviews. What does Amazon have to say about this and these other uh, websites where these reviews are posted? Yeah, so Amazon has a zero tolerance policy when it comes to fake reviews. They say that we will kick you off the platform, we will ban you, we're not going to do it. They also say they have 12,000 employees who really? strictly look for fake reviews. And it claims Amazon... Amazon Amazon says that more than 99% of its reviews are authentic. But you went on and found they do. a few. Yeah, so you just want to be cognizant. These yeah. are things that even I didn't know to look for, yeah. and I've been doing consumer reporting for several years. So just be aware. No one's going to get that excited over a coffee mug. No, are they? it's sturdy. I love how sturdy maybe, it is. Maybe morning folks like us will, <laughs> no. but otherwise, you know, Christine I'm hooked. Thank you so much.